Hello and welcome to the 22nd tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at adding a rectangle shape. We'll be using the source code from the third part of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. SFML provides loads of functionality to render various shapes. We will be looking at how to create a rectangle shape and draw it within SFML. Like a sprite, the shape needs to be declared, initialized and then drawn to the window. First of all, we obviously need to open up our project. And the process for creating a shape is declaring and initializing it first. So I'm going to do SF colon colon, the name of this or the type of the shape I should say, but rectangle shape. Now the name of it. I'm going to put rectangle. Now we're just going to specify a size. So SF vector to F. And now we just specify the size for the shape. So I'm going to put 200 pixels wide and 40 pixels tall. Finally to Draw the sprite, we just do window dot draw specify the shape. I believe I did just say sprite a few times. If I did, I am sorry, I think I'm sure I said it at least once. I mean, shape. And now, if we just run this and we should see our shape draw and obviously not our sprite, there we go, we got our shape drawn. Rectangle shapes support the various features covered for sprites, which were set in the origin, set in the rotation, set in the scale. It also supports setting the size, but the method is slightly different, so let's go over it. Uh, to set the size, you just do the shape name dot set size. Specify a SF vector to F. Specify your size. I'm going to put 400 by 67. We'll just random number, run it, and we have a yeah, actually, that is how it would look. Sorry, 400 by 67. It's just both of them were long in the x axis. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just change this to 67 by 400 so I can just visually see a little better than the other one. There we go, it is tall instead of being wide like we mentioned rectangle shapes do support the various other features that we did use for sprites over the past few tutorials if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video we'll just directly message us via youtube all the required links for source code will also be in the description in the next part of this series we're going to be looking at adding a circle shape and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day